Hi, it's Tristan here again, and today we are back in the Hondi Valley in eastern Zimbabwe looking for endemic species of reptile. And today is the first day of the trip, and we have found three different species of snake, including this one. This is the common egg eater, Dasipeltus scabra. Those of you who are interested in snakes and know your snakes will probably know this snake by its other name, which is the rhombic egg eater. Now you get two egg eaters in Zimbabwe. Uh, the other one I've done another vlog on, which is called the East African egg eater, which is Dasipeltus medicae. Uh, however, that is ex that is only found in the Eastern Highlands. But we can tell the difference between them by first of all looking at the back. The East African egg eater has a brown line along the center of the spine with white dots in the middle. However, this one is more covered in sort of different geometric shapes of black that you can see along the side and along the top of the back. Uh, another difference, if you can't really see the difference in the shape, is the color of the mouth. Now, I'll demonstrate this later on in the vlog, but uh, in an egg eater's defensive uh, position, they often strike out and that gives you a good view of the mouth and this one's mouth is black so that definitely tells us that this is a common egg eater. Now along with the other egg eater this snake feeds exclusively on eggs especially birds eggs and as a result it needs to be arboreal which is where you get this very prehensile tail from here which you can see is always curling around my finger providing a support just in case it would fall. Now, this egg eater, the common egg eater, can be confused more easily than the East African egg eater uh, because of its different geometric black dots along the whole body. But it can also be confused with the uh, night adders. However, the night adder has a V on the head, whereas this snake has a V on the neck. And, and not just one V, but as you can see, quite a few. One two or even three there. So that's a characteristic sign that tells it apart from other snakes. Also these huge eyes on the side of the head which aid in its vision in spotting birds and other predators as the snake has no teeth and is highly vulnerable to uh, other snakes and also other birds that may prey on it. I hope you enjoyed that close encounter with the little common egg eater and we'll see you soon.